Hello traders, this is Blake Morrow. You are listening to the week ahead video for January 24th, 2021. You know, today we have a special treat. We have Grego Horvat and he is going to be talking Elliott Waves and the currency market with you guys today. So it's a really, really special treat for you all today. But before I hand you over to Grega, I'm going to ask you for a couple of things. First and foremost, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video. Please give us a thumbs up. It helps us on YouTube. It helps us get viewed by other currency traders out there. It's really important to us. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our great free content that we offer. And also share this. If you see us on Twitter, you see us on LinkedIn or on Facebook, share it. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Also, one last thing. This is the last weekend of the New Year's pricing special. It expires on January 25th. If you've been around long enough, you know that this pricing does go away. And it'll go away for several months, maybe not even until maybe even until summer before you see pricing similar to this, if even this good again this year. So make sure you take advantage of it because it's not just the mobile app. It's not just the technology that you get and all the different features like the data flash, the live squawk, you know, Reuters and Bloomberg headlines, you know, the money management calculator, all the advanced technical analysis or even the, you know, basic technical analysis that you get with Forex analytics. It's really about our community and our community you know, it's it's even Saturday and there are traders posting in our community. I'll tell you what, on a normal day when I get up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, my time zone, by the time I start broadcasting a couple hours later, there's usually 100, 150, 200 messages of people sharing thoughts and ideas and charts. So make sure you take advantage of the special pricing that we have this weekend. All right, guys and gals, without further ado, here's Gregor Horvat, and he's going to give you an Elliott Wave perspective of the currency market. Enjoy. Hello, traders. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my first Elliott Wave week ahead video for 2021 for Forex Analytics. Um, I will walk you through a lot of charts. Firstly, uh, we will look at the overall global market uh, view, and then we will... Uh, go forward to check some um, Elliott wave counts on the FX pairs and also will cover gold, crude oil, S&P 500 and DAX. Now, firstly, let we take a look at this dollar index versus the S&P 500 ratio. Um, so this is very important chart uh, to look for because uh, it really tells you uh, where are we currently positioned based on risk on risk of sentiment. And as you know, stock market has moved extremely, um, extremely higher recently uh, since March 2020. And I think that sooner or later this move again will face a pullback. Now, if we look at this dollar index versus the S&P 500 charts, then we can see that market actually uh, had made this five waves to the downside now currently is trading at the first potential support while the uh, low while the next one is even lower so it means that if this is a fifth wave we can be in the final stages of this current risk on sentiment it means in uh, on the other hand that dollar index could be looking for some support and potential recovery could follow uh, well i think that this potential reversal could occur in the first six months of 2021. So if this ratio is going to see more upside, it means that we will be positioned probably into risk off mode. Uh, well, the next market, which I think it's important is uh, are obviously emerging markets. Now, firstly, the longer term chart suggests that we could be here dealing with an overlapping structure uh, headed to new high seen as wave B. But even this one could see more up uh, more upside, but after a retracement. Now, notice that always when we have seen a very sharp recovery, the market then made a pullback. So since we have seen a very nice and strong recovery to a new high, I think that this pullback is something that could be considered. Now, looking at the daily chart, 
here, you have potentially five waves up within this uh, latest wave five, which is extended lag. So again, it's a I know it's a very strong uptrend, but definitely not the price where you would be looking or willing to look uh, for potential new investing opportunities. I definitely think that uh, much better opportunities could occur after this retracement. Uh, then you have also very important market that you should track its commodity index. Now commodity index clearly has turned into this uh, bullish phase, I believe, with a lot more upside potential here since market accomplished these five waves down in a big wave C, which in fact found the support at the equality level compared to wave A. So it's a very nice and strong reversal that already took us back into the wave four territory. So maybe some resistance could be found here, but then more upside definitely will be expected after this retracement. Now, if we look at the daily chart here, then you will actually see uh, that uh, this recovery is made by five waves with the current lag that extended back to this gap from February 2010-20 where actually when actually this strong breakdown occurred uh, at the same time with stocks okay so we feel this uh, now and maybe it's time to go sideways or slow down if from any reason we'll just continue straight to the upside then obviously I would adjust the wave content look for this uh, to be a wave free rather than wave five but then again new opportunities would be expected to occur after wave four setback so either um, we see reversal from here okay and then we see um, new opportunities after this pullback or wait for extension extension higher and then wait for a pullback so in either case i think the next pullbacks will be very important and potentially with very nice opportunities uh, now let's take a look also at put call ratio uh, well, the put call ratio here, okay, let me just expand this. The put call ratio is at extreme, obviously, because market is at the highs. And the last, the last time the put call ratio has reached these levels was actually when looking at the moving average um, of this put call ratio, of an inverted put call ratio chart, actually or data, I should say. Uh, the last time we have seen this reading was here back in July of 2019, okay, based on this moving average. So uh, I think that there can be some, again, very important signal that we could be slowing down. It's not necessarily meaning that we will see a very strong or sharp decline, but something just to realize that we could slow down before we see another push to the upside. Again, you definitely don't want to buy here. Much better opportunities would occur when this moving average of put call ratio inverted scale uh, is on the other side, of course. Um, now let's dig in into some of the FX charts. Okay. Now, firstly, we will take a look at the euro dollar. Now, euro dollar is making a very nice and strong recovery here. And so far we see price in wave C, okay, or in a third lag of recovery away from these 2016 lows. Now, this can be either a part of this ongoing triangle if we suddenly see much more weakness, if this risk of move would really come uh, here much earlier than we think, then this could be a triangle since I would start tracking or observing wave D drop. If market will just continue to print higher prices on stocks, and commodities from here, then I think the dollar will see obviously more weakness. And in such case, euro could actually see more upside here for an ABC recovery of a wave X. Okay, so it's a very important timing for the next few uh, few months. I still think that sooner or later there will be uh, important resi resistance that will uh, make a deeper pullback. Now, uh, looking at the short term charts, um, either let's say that we are in a triangle, then this ABCX, ABC structure is valid. It's a recovery in seven swings. I've been reversing, I've been looking for this potential reversal here uh, at the start of January. And so far this occurred very nicely. I said that even if this is a very aggressive bullish count like this one, an impulse, we would expect a pullback into wave four. OK, or here we would expect something more aggressive to the downside in five waves, especially 
when this if this corrective trendline support or this corrective channel is broken well when looking at the both markets both uh, sorry both structures i still think that there can be a little bit of more weakness coming why because if you look in the four hour chart here i can see quite aggressive sell off here meaning that this is probably only first lack of a higher degree pullback that should be made by free waves so even if this is going to be a corrective movement i think that more weakness down into wave c could occur so watch out for potential resistance here um, around 50 and 61.8 percent for the next week uh, from where i would be looking for this uh, bearish continuation so still it's a very tricky to say where we are positioned here on the longer term uh, structure but even if this wave count is correct then can be more uh, weakness even if this bullish count is in the cards there will be more upside but again after this drop that i'm expecting on the four hour time frame now if we also take a look on dollar index to give you a reason why i think that euro dollar could see more upside is because here on the four hour chart where what we can see is very nice and strong rise here from january lows and then you have seen a pullback in free waves but then the key is another free wave structure to a new high so this cannot be wave C that you would uh, label a top and you would expect more weakness because always when you see a free wave movement to a new high then you can expect that this belongs to a more complex correction so I'm looking for a flat formation here maybe 8990 will be retested and then watch out for more upside here after this correction so again euro dollar could come to the downside um, now let's take a look also on cable now cable is making a very nice gains here but notice that recovery here from 2020 lows is overlapping okay so it's very hard to say that this is ongoing impulsive trend that will take us much much higher in the upcoming years in fact if you take a look at the current rise and compare it with the previous recovery then you can clearly see that the previous legs were, were much stronger compared to the current one so in my opinion this is important evidence that market or the, the bullish trend is losing strength here and that we could be running here into a resistance we have a few 100 percent fib levels compared to the previous wave a and even to the previous um this free wave structure measured from end to wave x so I think it's a very strong resistance up here also you have here a divergence on the rsi and then you have also on the four hour chart potential ending diagonal here that could be forming in a fifth wave and you know that this is a very strong reversal pattern but only when it's completed uh, when it's finished and i will be looking for two potential um, price levels that should be taken out before i can confirm a reversal now the first support is at one point 3516 level okay and the second one is at 1.3445 level so the first one is the support the second one is the bearish level it's um approach that i also um, try to illustrate here at the bottom of this chart when you can see clearly an uptrend and then i have two supports the first price the first level the, uh, the last swing of this that uptrend normally represents the very strong support that should hold price to stay in uptrend if this first support is broken then the next support should uh, should hold but if also the next support is broken well then you have two swing supports broken and normally that is a very strong indication then threat trend has changed so in such case if we see a very strong drop especially if we see a five waves down then i think that cable will face much lower prices now let's take a look also on aussie dollar now aussie dollar um, is in a very strong uptrend um, obviously it's correlated with stocks uh, and 
so far we have to respect that stocks are still in uptrend even if i'm expecting a new cycle to come in uh, in the next few months this is not happening yet this, these are just my assumptions so always when it comes to trading it's very important to to realize what is uh, going on right now at this time and currently still stocks are um, holding quite well so if this will continue to to be the case let's say in the next week then i think that aussie dollar could be very interesting because there can be a correction here unfolding but still with a little bit more downside here to potentially to test this trend line for a wave four and if you look at the four hour chart here i'm looking for potential um, complex correction here with another dip coming here uh, back to retest this wave three swing high and potentially also at this trend line and then i would be expecting a rise so aussie dollar would definitely be on my other screen if we just continue to do uh, to see more upside on stocks um, now let's take a look also on dollar cat now dollar cat is here in a very strong reversal mode on a weekly scale but i think that this can be a wave c but even if it's a wave c it can be uh, can be headed even lower because if you look at this daily chart then we have potential ongoing five wave weakness okay but what i see is a price at the end of this extended wave three currently forming maybe even a wedge here in a subway five so again trend is bearish no doubt but maybe there will be some important support coming in uh, in the upcoming weeks uh, but as i said maybe after a completed here ending diagonal which could see a little bit more downside and then a reversal to the upside of course it's very important to track crude oil prices as you know crude oil is still very strong i see a little bit more upside here in the near, near term so this could eventually uh, send the door cat to another uh, to another low before potential price will stabilize um, now let's take a look on dollar swiss now dollar swiss here on a daily time frame um, it can be trading in a wave c third leg of a, of a corrective decline which already touched this um, lower trend line of this black channel so it's a corrective channel that could be trying to to limit the weakness here uh, so i'm not really sure if this wave five has already finished here or we'll see another retest of the lows but what is important is that even if this is just going to be another corrective rise uh, i think that more upside is possible here we have seen on the four hour chart to break out of this downward channel so I see this as a wave A and now we are just moving sideways. So I think this can be um, wave B, meaning more upside for a wave C or maybe even wave 3 if significant low has been put in place here. Also the head and shoulders formation, I think it's very, very nice here. Uh, can be uh, unfolding, but as you know, head and shoulder is not a head and shoulder unless you see a broken neckline. So a break above uh, 8930, uh, let's say a daily close above that price would be very important trigger for more upside, at least over towards 0 0.9 psychological level. And then this should be a very important resistance as it's also shown here, illustrated on the daily chart. If you see a daily close or even better, a weekly close above that previous uh, swing low then i think that the trend can be changing here if we just retest it and turn back to the downside then watch out for another drop into fifth wave now let's take a look on dollar yen now dollar yen is making some very nice reversal here since start of january um, now looking this uh, wedge pattern that can be putting in a low uh, maybe even an ending diagonal suggesting much much more upside but for the near term what is really important even if it's going to be a wave c or maybe even very strong wave three i think that more upside can be coming here why because we have seen a very strong rise here out uh, of this uh, or above this trend line resistance and now you have also this latest pullback that was corrective in nature so in my opinion this breakout could occur next week potentially that will bring higher prices towards 105 or even maybe even higher while the market should stay and hold this 102.57 level um, now let's take a look on um, new zealand dollar now this one is also quite attractive 
maybe even more compared to Aussie because Aussie against New Zealand dollar this uh, pair has recently turned uh, turned lower so I think that more weakness here could actually give you an idea why New Zealand dollar could be maybe even better if this risk on sentiment will resume okay so in risk on positions I would definitely register to commodity currencies rather than euro pound uh, or uh, Japanese yen or even Swiss franc so what I'm looking at here is potentially very nice ongoing uh, incomplete five wave rise. We have some uh, recovery here above this trend line. So if we can pass this level at uh, 7 to 30 and we will continue to see more upside on Monday, Tuesday in stocks, then I think that this fifth wave here could be in the, car in the cards. But still, final part of this fifth wave before we see a reversal. Uh, now let's take a look also on cable against New Zealand or this one could also be uh, one of the pairs that could tell you where are we headed there on um, on New Zealand dollar in general here we have the latest rise in free waves okay so I think that this can be a correction also what I love about this pair is a very strong reversal last week and now we are just slowing down here so you're not seeing uh, market reversing back to the upside or, or erasing the previous losses. Uh, so in my opinion, this is just a correction here that market takes it before we see another break lower. Um, now let's take a look also on gold. Now gold is clearly in a corrective movement here away from the highs. Now the question is what type of a structure this, this metal will form. It's definitely a complex one since market reversed uh, and raised this recent, uh, this recent gains. In fact, it extended even lower. So we are now back in this middle, in the middle of this very strong pullback. So I think that another um, very important scenario is a potential triangle here in a wave four. Okay, it's still ongoing pattern if that's going to be the case. Currently with wave D in progress, then you will see wave E and then more upside. Of course, this means that market will remain sideways here for another few weeks. Um, if suddenly we see more weakness here, which is also very valid because we are in complex corrections and sometimes it's very hard to define which com complex correction uh, the market is forming, well, then you uh, can be also here making this ABC X, another ABC drop, meaning that 1760 retest could potentially open even room for 1670 level. Okay, so in both cases, I see market in a corrective uh, pattern, but both are incomplete. So if we stay sideways, I will go with the triangle. If we see a new drop, let's say in the next week or two, then I will go with, uh, with this second wave count. Um, but both suggest that when this correction is finished, I will definitely have a very close eye on them. Then um, I think that uh, there can be a very nice opportunities here. Why, why I think that correction here is incomplete is also because I'm looking at gold versus the euro here. Uh, this market turned very nicely to the upside after this ending diagonal. And looks like this correction is still incomplete. I'm tracking ABCX and another ABC drop. What is very important here? That this looks like a bear flag here on the way down. So definitely watch out for potential more weakness here. Maybe even to retest, if I go to the weekly, even retest these highs, uh, previous highs before very nice reversal may occur uh, later this year. Okay, um, now let's take a look also on, on crude oil. Now crude oil is in a very, uh, very strong uptrend uh, and I've been looking for this reversal, as you know, since we recognize this five wave rise and also call this free wave drop back to the previous wave four towards 34 and then a new recovery, which is now in a full swing. Uh, so I think that there can be a wave free in progress, but even wave free uh, can see very nice pullbacks on the way up here. So I'm watching for potential near term resistance here around $55. Uh, and why I think that this is important because I see prices also here, potential of making uh, wave five, uh, when looking at the structure from 34, uh, but even this wave 5 should be made by 5 subways. So maybe we see another jump here after this 
recent pullback and then just be aware of potential slowdown or a step into a new free wave reversal before market again resumes to the upside so crude oil is definitely in uh, an uptrend could see a little bit more upside from the near term support levels um, but then once we reach the 55 level i think that uh, there can be even deeper uh, or higher degree corrective setback but clearly this uptrend remains in progress as long as we are trading above this uh, black channel uh, trend line support so i would be looking for only a temporary pullback before we see more upside here uh, now let's take a look also on the S&P 500. Now the S&P 500 here, um, what I'm looking at is wave 5 in progress. We've been looking for this flat correction and this wave 5 should be made by 5 waves. For now that's not the case yet, but still what is concerning here is that current prices, okay, current structure is not that strong like we have seen here in the previous in the previous um, uh, rally. So in my opinion, this is a very important signal why we could be slowing down. And maybe we will face a deeper correction into this, back into this wave four, and then another jump to the upside. Looking at this four hour chart, you can see a potential wedge here. And it's very concerning actually, because as you know, the wedges patterns, whenever they are accomplished, they can cause a very, very strong reversal. So if we see a break of, of this wave four, uh, after we reverse from that resistance, then I think that there can be much more lower prices coming. Now, let's take a look also on German DAX. Now, German DAX is definitely in a very strong uptrend here. I have, uh, I have few wave counts here on my other screen, either we are in a way five of course it can extend much higher but keep in mind that you are in final stages of this recovery or you can be in a wave b of this potential flat correction if the rise from march lows will unfold in three waves so for a big picture it's a little bit tricky time because we are moving into resistance and we don't know if this one will be taken out to make an extended gains for a wave five of five or will actually cause much uh, much more stronger sell-off. Um, but what is important on the four-hour chart again is that you have potential wedge formation here. You can see plenty of overlaps here uh, within uh, this rise away from December swing swing low. So again, I would not be surprised if we hit and touch the stronger resistance up here and then a reverse lower. But for the near term, definitely another retest of the high is possible because the latest drop was made here, as you can see in three ways. Looks like a, a correction on the way up. Another market, that, uh, another market, another chart that is very important. I think it's just to look at this uh, simple perspective uh, regarding cycles. Uh, whenever we have seen this uh, market moving lower or higher, meaning to a new low or to a new extreme, uh, the market maybe slowed down in January and February. This has been the case, as you can see here, then you ha have seen this at this high, at these lows, and then also again, last week, uh, sorry, last year highs, a reversal, and now again, we are here. So I think it's a very important timing, uh, especially if we try to, uh, to make a combination with the Elliott wave patterns that market could actually be uh, maybe slowing down up here. Okay, and now final uh, market that I will take a look at is going to be Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is definitely in a very, very strong uptrend. And we've been looking recently for this reversal. It looks like this reversal is very nice so far, is in free wave, so it can be way four. But I'm not really sure if that's way four or the, uh, completed this correction at the recent lows. Why? Because if I look at the four hour chart here, then you can actually see that this drop from end of wave B is not in five waves, it's in three waves. So in, uh, I would not be surprised actually to see market retesting the previous lows, maybe even this wave four or lower tre uh, trend line of a corrective channel before this market will stabilize. Also, let's keep in mind that uh, there have been uh, some correlation between Bitcoin and the US dollar, of course. And um, what I see if US dollar is really headed higher, for this corrective advance that we are currently tracking, I've been also talking about this on Euro dollar and uh, dollar index. So if we see more upside here, then maybe we will see here 
more weakness, as I said, into wave C, which makes sense because, as I said, wave C is not made by five waves yet. Okay, traders, thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will definitely make sure to uh, again uh, make a new one very, uh, very soon. So, if you are interested in more analysis on a daily basis, then make sure to check uh, Forex Analytics website. We still have this new year offer available till January 25th. Okay, traders, have a good day and trade well. Bye.